For this video, let's take a look at the line item approach for creating estimates. The line item approach is ideal for equipment changeouts, short term projects, and any time you are able to build an estimate with the exact services you are selling, as well as materials and equipment you are installing. This method is great to use because you can book the sole estimate into install jobs and the items will be automatically on the invoice of those jobs. In order to properly use this method, you will first need to build out your price book to have the exact services, materials, and equipment you will use on the estimate. If you do not have the items in your price book before using the line item estimate, you will not be able to use it. Once the items you will be using are in the price book, go to the project settings page in your general settings to confirm that your default project labels are set up and are attached to items within your price book. Please note, while you can set up your project labels in your general settings, you will also want to take a look at the project labels attached to items directly in your price book, because the price book level labels will override the default project labels. When the project labels look good to go, you can build an estimate. Let's quickly take a look at an estimate that is being created on a job from the office side. Please note, your technicians can also create line item estimates from the field. When you use a pre-made estimate by selecting a proposal template or build a new estimate, your estimate will be created and you can view the options on the right of the job page. From the job, select an individual estimate by clicking on one of the options or view all estimates by clicking on the View Opportunity button. Before you sell the estimate, make sure you have project labels attached to the items on the estimate. This will ensure that project tracking will work and your budget versus actual table will show you the right numbers. The project labels can be automatically attached based on your default preferences or from the price book level labels. You also have the opportunity to manually add a project label to an item within the estimate. Once your project labels and the estimate looks good, Sell the estimate by clicking on the Sold and Convert button on the top of the page. You will need to select the user that sold the estimate. Now that our estimate is sold, the next step is to initiate booking and or initiate requisitions if applicable for your account. For service tasks, you can book those directly into a job from the estimate page using the Initiate Booking button. This will automatically create a project. With our estimate sold, we can begin working on the project. From the Financials tab on the left, scroll down to view your budget versus actual table to confirm that everything is accurate. This is based on the project labels that were set up on the estimate. And that's why you would use the line item approach for creating estimates. Stay tuned for more videos on how to utilize Service Titan's project tracking features.